Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander 4. Last time we fended off a last-ditch effort by the Lexington to take us out, and we met a couple of crew members on the BWS Intrepid. Intrepid. When we left off last time, we were going to talk to this group here, but there's one more conversation we can have, and that's back in the galley area. If we leave the galley and come back, Maniac's standing there, and he's observing something. And he finally sees us. still say it'll be friendly fire that gets you. I don't know. The side we picked to be on has a long, hard road ahead. Will you look on the bright side? At least now you won't have to deal with that confed promotion that finally came through. My promotion came through! My promotion! Confed, I th that's not right. <laughs> That's awesome. I think that's hilarious. I love how Blair just kind of puts a fun little twist on things, try to keep the mood light, and takes a little shot at Maniac whenever he can. I think that's hilarious. All right, well, let's finally talk to this group. Hmm, looks like they're all studying aboard. They don't really see us. I say we just cut our losses and pull back. The jump point is the quickest way out of the system. It's way too obvious. I say we stay and hurt the Lexington as much as possible. That way we'll be hurting Confed, too. How long have they been carrying out? Like doesn't this? make any sense. Too long. There's something you don't understand. It's Look, typical. You're both right and you're both wrong. Attacking the Lexington is a waste of valuable resources. Beating a hasty retreat is a wiser course of action. The jump point is the most obvious exit route. The Salinas Nebulas might be a better way out. Either way, I don't think the Lexington is going to just let us cruise away. I'll bet you'll get a chance to inflict damage on her, or sustain more to yourself. What do you think, Colonel? I think this ship needs a captain. I'll do the best I can. All right, and Captain Eisen's back in charge. Awesome. I think it's weird they just kind of all of a sudden gave him a ship. Oh well. Well anyways, in order to get a mission, we go here to the CIC and chart room. And that's accessed from, uh, let's see, where is it? Let me flag it. Yeah, from the control bay here. You go to the CIC and chart room. Door opens up. And to attend the briefing, we just go over here and talk to Captain Ison, who seems to be shaking and doing a little dance. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Uh! Well, it's a different side, and things may look a little bit more rugged than before, but uh, Captain Eisen is back where he belongs, and we're taking orders from the guy that we like taking orders from. That's great. All right, well, we need to configure our ship loadout, so let's go over here and talk to pliers, and uh, let's configure our ship. I was able to pull a storm fire off a junk pirate fighter we just hauled in. Boy, old technology, but damn effective. Fires a shitload of small, low-density projectiles at extremely high velocity. Just paint your target and let her rip. If the range wasn't so damn short, they'd still be around today. Try it out and see how you like it. All right. Pretty cool. Well, this is kind of the equivalent of the arrow. If you remember from uh, the wing, previous Wing Commander games. Let's see what other ships we got here. Maybe I can get some info on those. Ah, here's an Avenger. This is the equivalent of the Longbow Bomber. Doesn't have as many torpedoes, though, so that kind of sucks. And we got the Vindicator here, which I'd say is, is an equivalent of a Hellcat. Um, a little bit stronger than a Hellcat, of course, because it's got some torpedoes. Only six uh, missiles, though. And although it does have tachyon guns, the tachyon guns don't really 
work like they did in Wing Commander 3 in the Excalibur. Um, it doesn't actually follow the target, lock them on, so, eh. All right. I know players can give us more information. Let's see if I can get them to do it. The Vindicator won't get you through long battles with that light armor, but it's the only one you can use for atmospheric missions. Also, if you need to go to a planet, you can do that. I've pushed the limits on those old confed tractor beams you probably learned on at the Academy. I doubled the axial frequency, added inertial retractors, and pretty much tweaked the hell out of them. You'll be impressed your next salvage job. Sweet. All right, well, let's see. We're going to go with, um, let's try a Banshee out, just because I want a lot of those missiles. And um, I remember the arrow from uh, previous Wing Commander games, and I loved it. So, all right, that's the one I want, image rec missiles. All right, so let's uh, load our stuff with these. Oh, by the way, I think it's kind of cool that, you know, now we get to f uh, fly in the fighters that we had fought against earlier in the game. The Vindicator we fought on that planet mission where we had to take uh, camera photos uh, for that recon mission. And Avengers we had fought before and Banshees as well. So now we get to fly in the fighters that we fought against, fighting against fighters that we fought in earlier in the game and in Wing Commander 3. <laughs> That's confusing. All right, well, let's pick our wingman here. All right. Let's uh, let's see who we got here. We have some more, uh, some new guys. Excel and there's Hawk. That's pretty cool. We're actually gonna go with um, aggressiveness is low, but flying skills high. Let's go with Panther. Why not? She isn't really aggressive, but that's cool. All right. Log off. Let's give this baby a whirl. A nice looking fighter. I like it. Sounds simple enough, Captain. <laughs> 